Welcome back, this is Nick Agram. Uh, in my previous video, at the end of it, I said area and perimeter. I have to correct myself there now. I should have said circumference. of a circle and a circle sector. Let's start with the circle. I hope you can see my circle there. It is not... Uh, I hope I can change that into... Now you can see. It is better. Okay. The area of a circle of a circle is always the pi multiplied by radius multiplied by radius or pi radius is always the half of diameter so we have pi is equal to this one is pi multiplied by the radius squared now for if you want to use the, the diameter diameter instead and we have pi multiplied by the diameter squared divided by 4. And the circumference is always 2 times pi times the radius or the diameter multiplied by pi. Okay, let's see if we can find some example here. As you can see here now, we're supposed to find the area and circumference of this uh, circle. As you can see, we have circumference is this one, what I'm pointing now. Maybe you can see it. But we don't have the length of that. So before we do that, we will say if we call d squared is equal to by Pythagorean theorem of 5 squared plus 12 squared. So the diameter, 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 <laughs> diameter is 25 plus 144 and that is 169. Take the square root of both. Then we have the diameter is 13 centimeter. So this now is 13 centimeter. Now we are ready to find for the, the area. The area is always pi times the square of radius or pi times the square of diameter divided by We'll see if uh, we can use both. Uh, pi is multiplied by 13 squared. And that is square centimeter. And we have 169 pi square centimeter. Sorry. That is not correct. It is completely wrong. Pi multiplied by 6.5 squared. Square centimeter. 6.5 square. That is 42.25 pi quadrat. 
square centimeter. If we want to use the diameter, then we have pi multiplied by 169, that's a square of uh, 13 square centimeter divided by 4. If you divide that, then you, you will get the same, 42.25 pi and then the square centimeter. The circumference is 2 times pi times r or we have just the diameter multiplied by pi. Then the diameter is 13 pi centimeter. Then 2 times uh, 6.5, of course, it's 13 pi centimeter. Another is this one. We have our diameter is 9. So our area is equal to we have pi multiplied by the square of diameter divided by 4. So we have the square of diameter which is 81 divided by 4 the square of centimeter. So 81 divided by 4 we will get 20.25 20.25 pi and then the square of centimeter the circumference is we have the diameter multiplied by pi then we have ah oh, not, not centimeter millimeter 9 pi millimeter Another is this one, a right uh, isosceles triangle, right angled isosceles triangle, inscribed in a circle. So we need to find this. How long is this? Then we have diameter is equal to the square root of the first, we have 4.5. Uh, 4 times the square root of 2 plus 4 times the square root of 2. Then we have 8 times the square root of 2 and then the square root of that. Okay. centimeter so the area is equal to the pi multiplied by the square of the diameter divided by 4 the square of centimeter so we have pi multiplied by the square of uh, The square of the square of d now is just the eight square root of two. So we have eight times the square root of two divided by four. Then we have two pi or two times the square root of 2 pi square centimeter. The circumference is I have the diameter we have square root of 8 times the square root of 2 and times pi centimeter but you can simplify this let's see if we can simplify this for example i have the square root of if i'm going to put the 
8 inside the radicand, then we have 64 times 2 times 2, like that. Then we have the fourth root now of 128. But 128 can be expressed 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 16, times 2, 32, 64, 128. So as you can see, I have this one. So I can, the fourth root of 128 became 2 raised to 4 times 2 raised to 3 times pi centimeter. Then we have 2 times the fourth root of 8 times pi centimeter. Yeah, it's a little bit complicated, but that's how it looks. In my next video, I pr uh, from my from the start, so I promise about uh, giving you the area and the circumference or the length of the arc in a circle se sector. But before I'm going to discuss that, then I will be discussing um, angles. And, and the different kind of angles and different kinds of triangles. We we I saw some of them. You saw some, my last example. It is about a right angled isosceles triangle. But we're going to we're going I'm going to repeat this once more so that you can refresh your memory from grade 9 or grade 8. See you in my next video.